Today is a victory for the people of Chicago. Number one, what do you think is more important? Uh, the Burge conviction. John Burge. Well, I don't know. Lieutenant John Burge. He, he destroyed a lot of brothers' destroyed lives. Destroyed a lot of black men and Latino men's lives yeah, and by families. torturing them from the 70s to the 80s. Today, 2010, what's the date? What you mean? Whatever. Today, 2010. June 28th. June 28th. He was found guilty on all counts of perjury and obstruction of justice. Now we're going to see what type of time. the torture of black men. That's right. Can you imagine how many brothers didn't have a chance to have children, have families, or the ones that had little infants and they never got a chance to spend any time with them. They're grown now and, you know, they didn't have any influence in their lives except the fact that their father's in jail for murder or some kind of crime for the rest of their lives. And then now they're freed, some of them, and they have to sue to get the money back even though it's been proven that these guys didn't commit these crimes they have to actually go through legal procedures to get their money for their ruined lives that's right he ruined lives and today he was found guilty and that is one cause of celebration that's right another cause of celebration <laughs> the supreme court the supreme court tell them ruled five to four i don't know what happened to any more than nine that's nine, five and okay. four. I'm just calculating. That's more. Okay, that's nine, about I don't it. know how I many the hell they don't do nothing right for us. Anyway, they ruled five to four to knock down Chicago's restrictive gun laws. So now you can have a handgun in your house to protect your family. So in case uh, some fool comes kicking in your door with a gun, all criminals got guns. You can believe that. They keep kicking in your door, into your house, and you can't have nothing legally before today but a, a knife or something. You can't, you can't legally have mace. You can't have a taser, a taser or a stun gun legally. And your knife has to be a certain length. Right. So ain't that something? Well, I guess, you know, your knife that you cut your ham with or your turkey for Thanksgiving. Or spread your butter on your toast with. Yeah, they'll let you have that. Yeah. yeah. But you can't have a, a handgun until right now. Handgunner. Handgunner Hot magazine gunner. in light of the Supreme Court striking down the gun laws in Chicago. Well, it was a ban for ever since 1982 where you couldn't own a gun to protect your family. In this magazine, with every gun, you get a free, skinny, <laughs> leggy Asian woman. <laughs> so we're going out right now. <laughs> we're going out right now. So we're on our way out here to Chuck's dog. Good Chuck. <laughs> out there with Jesse Jackson and uh, Rev oh, Reverend Jackson and uh, Father Flake, I mean Flager, Flaky. Tarzan? Yeah, uh, White Jesus. But well, these guys have their uh, demonstrations every now and then to demonstrate all the guns in Chicago, even though that's stupid as hell because they ain't protesting where the criminals get their guns from. Criminals don't get their guns from Chuck Dalton gun shop. Now, some might because they probably break in your house and steal them, but the other ones are like getting them off the street, getting them hot, probably getting them from the United States government or the police department. When the police take my hand legally, my legal gun, they'll they'll give it to one of these guys or sell it to them or something. Look, years ago, and I'll say this, I don't give a fuck. Years ago, this is how one way they get guns. I was gonna buy a handgun when I was in college uh -huh. at Columbia College. I was gonna meet a gangster disciple in the lobby of the college and buy a handgun from him. Whatever happened, happened. He didn't show up. I had the money. He didn't show up, and I didn't. I wound up not getting a handgun. Probably a good thing, but I'll probably be in jail by now. Yes, you yeah. shot somebody. I did, I, yeah, and you know some of the people would have been shot by now. Ooh. Now, you people who are outside of Chicago don't really understand why we, why we acting like this, why we hype like this. Chicago's got to be one of the most, if not the most, corrupt fucking cities in America, yeah. in the world. It's right up there with New York. It probably tops New York. Every other corrupt city and jurisdiction in the landmass takes their cues from New York and Chicago, and the people suffer, whether they're poor, poor whites, blacks, Hispanics, whatever, women, whatever, children, we all suffer in this city. And Mayor Daley, you fucking asshole. Pig, you mean? You Big just asshole. got your ass kicked. We beat your ass on the Olympics thing. No yeah, that's Olympics. Right. That's right. No Olympics. No Olympics. That's you right. just got your ass kicked on the gun thing. You're gonna try to flip that right. this Wednesday. That's right. They're gonna, gonna try, try to, to flip put that. Some restrictive laws in place or some kind of ordinances or some crap to keep it, make it difficult for you to get a gun. But go get it now. <laughs> How about that? Right. Go get one right away because get the Supreme Court say you can have one. And your boy John Burge. It's going down, and it's only a matter of time. 
If we don't get you out of that office in what, 2011? Yeah. God, if you people have an ounce of brains in your head, why do they keep voting? You for wouldn't him? vote for this asshole. He, he wins every ward of the city. What the hell is going on? What's wrong with y'all? He's been covered and mired in every goddamn yeah, scandal. Yeah, everything. We're being priced out of the city, gentrified out of the city. A lot of these killings in the, in the city, a lot of these killings ain't what the media is saying that they are. I'm willing to bet you, and this is why the city is going to run scared now that this gun ordinance has got to be changed, is because a lot of times, a lot of these murders are the police doing a lot of these murders. Yeah. That's the words on the street. It ain't what you think. Fuck what the media says. It ain't what you think. So the bottom line is, are we free? No, we're not free. We're not free. But when in Chicago, if you don't understand what the fuck we go through in this city, every little bit Counts. This is better than Obama getting elected bit. president. What'd you say? This is better than Obama getting like elected president. <laughs> hey, really, if you really look at it, the hell, that ain't affecting us in no positive way. He ain't doing a damn thing for me. But today, I almost feel what you people feel when you talk about that you're happy. Yeah. I feel a little bit happy because there's been some justice done finally. Hell, if you really know me, know that I don't dance. I dance today. I was seeing did a jig. Yeah, I was doing jig, crip walks, yeah. I was doing the jigs, I was doing jig. James Brown shit. Monkey shines. Yeah, all that. I was doing Michael Jackson shit, <laughs> kicking my leg up in the air. <laughs> right, right, right. But today is a good day. Today is the day that justice was finally served. A lot of people fought for these for these rights. A lot of people fought for that asshole to go to jail, John Burge. And what's the brother that was on TV crying? Mark Clements? One of the people who was tortured by Burge and said he ruined his life. I feel you, bro. I yeah. feel you, straight up, I feel you. And Aaron Patterson, I don't know if you're ever gonna see this, Aaron Patterson, but we still thinking about you, and that motherfucker's going to jail. And I'm putting the word out right now. When J Birds go to jail, no matter what type of jail he ends up in, Jeffrey Dahmer his ass. Yeah, yeah, Flow, yeah. okay. Bane, yeah, yeah, Black yeah. socks, ill regards, nigga. Yeah. It's a new day, yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really yeah. this. <laughs> It's a new day on the plantation. On. Prepare, study the enemies you facing. No more marching, kumbaya crooning. It's freedom of death, cocksucker. Go ahead and tune in.